Technologic. Marketing Tech Blog. Technologic. I would say that I'm a bit of a twerk, but that that has brings a whole new connotation. <laughs> yeah. That's not what twerk means. <laughs> I can't get that out of my head now, Doug. Thank you. Um, well, you know, I wanted to bring this back just a uh, <laughs> second because a lot of the behaviors that you were talking about, mm -hmm. it's important for people to understand. The first, if you're a business person and you really don't have any experience with Twitter, just the name itself is this connotation that you think it's a yeah. silly type of mm -hmm. thing. Absolutely. But if but if we if we changed it and we said there's a community bulletin board that's open to everybody, that's searchable and indexable, and you could. You know, you can post things there and receive information there. And more importantly, you can actually talk to your customers, yeah. consumers. You can have a conversation back and forth. Right there, real people, time. People would think differently. They Absolutely. would have a different picture in their head. So it's important for people to understand that this is a viable communication method. And, yep. and it's very different from Facebook. Facebook filters, 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 mm -hmm. and only the most popular content gets seen, where Twitter is this constant just stream That's right. of information. It's always moving. And so on Facebook, for example, you might not want to repeat, you know, posting about information, you know, more than once. Right. Mm -hmm. But on Twitter, if you have an event coming up, you, you might want to. Every yeah. single day you yeah. might want to have a countdown that says, hey, ten more days till, five mm -hmm. more days till, you know, and 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 schedule those out. No, absolutely. So, <clears throat> so um we we have a couple of really good posts on Twitter. One of them was a fun one. If you just look up um, Twitter unfollow infographic on the Marketing Tech blog, we did this infographic just for fun, mm -hmm. and it's hilarious because it's got like dead birds and you know everything else on it. It's pretty funny. Um, <laughs> birds with you know tire tracks on them and stuff. Um, I can I, I can I can see the the need for that after <laughs> <yeah>. this show. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and it, and we wanted to. E Consultancy had done a um, article a long time ago with a huge analysis on why people unfollow on Twitter. Mm -hmm. um, so the number one reason, anybody? Self promotion. So nope. yeah, absolutely. Nope. Nope. Too noisy. Um, so so in this case, I fifty two percent of people said that they. Uh, unfollowed people because they were too noisy. Now, hmm. now that said, that doesn't necessarily mean that you can't be on there, like you said, setting right. expectations and being on there all day. Right. But there's some people that are literally like every two, two minutes, minutes they're <laughs> publishing something. You know, I bet it's not that it's too too noisy. Well, I mean, there's that. Yeah. But I bet on top of it, what's it's not it's, valuable. It's right? not valuable. There, yeah. there, there's yeah. no useful content. Is mm -hmm. I, 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 so many times. How many times do I need to know that you're eating a brand muffin? Exactly. I don't need to know that. <laughs> I, I always wish. Wish that Twitter. Lord, I, want you to know. <laughs> I always wish that Twitter had put in a mute button, yeah. like just yeah, just so uh, you know, like people. I would want people to do it to me if I go to an event and I'm live tweeting mm -hmm. every five minutes and they don't want to hear that. Yeah. Just mute me, and a day later turn mm -hmm. it off or mm -hmm. something. Mm -hmm. I, I still think that that would be a phenomenal thing. Um, the number. I think that's a phenomenal thing just for this radio show. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> the second one. <clears throat> you guys guessed it, and that was shameless, narcissistic uh, hawkers <laughs> that are constantly promoting themselves. Yeah. So people just don't want that. They want value. They want help there. They want information. 47% mm -hmm. um, uh, posting too much spam, so just trying to sell, sell, sell. 43% yeah. um, not interesting enough. So again, like yep. you said, Value. good content is is uh, you know the the danger of Twitter isn't just that people won't listen; it's that they'll unfollow. Mm -hmm. So and once people unfollow, they seldom come back. That's right. Um, Twenty nine percent of people left because of too much repetition. Now that said, I would say that repetition isn't a bad thing. Like we mm -hmm. will take if we have a really successful post. And we'll repeat it a day later, right. a week later, mm -hmm. you know, and, and bring people back. Yeah. And you're not hitting the same people over and over again. You're hitting a different audience because, like I said, that stream is right. flowing. And, and the people that saw it before go, oh, I remember seeing that. That's And they go buy it. Mm -hmm. And it's no big deal. But if it keeps popping up and popping up, then you're in trouble. 29% yep. um, uh, hate automation. So... Um, I tend to agree with that. Uh, one of the ones down the list here is like uh, check-ins on Foursquare. You know, if, if you're like a check-in monster like mm -hmm. I am, do not auto-post those to Twitter. It drives people absolutely crazy. People don't care where you are. I'm sorry, Doug. Yeah. 
<laughs> Texas you know Roadhouse that? again. Yeah. <laughs> um, 28% of people will unfollow you for being offensive or unprofessional. Yeah, Tom. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, 28%, we talked about earlier, asking someone to retweet if it's a value and it's a good message mm-hmm. is great, but begging people to tweet. Uh, yeah. When you don't even know them, you don't yeah. even have a relationship, That's that causes people. Um, 27% of people unfollow for being too quiet. So I use uh, I use a tool, and I can't remember. I think it's unfollow me mm-hmm. or something okay. like yeah. that. And and every once in a while, I just purge my list of anybody who hasn't tweeted in six months. Mm-hmm. Why, why, why follow? Yeah, yeah, why follow if they're not going to talk? Um, so the, uh, crimes against grammar. Uh, so I'm sure people... <laughs> <laughs> my sh- personal favorite. I'm sure people <laughs> unfollowed me for that because I hack up the English language. I'm <laughs> a bit of a butcher. Um, 21% if they're not conversational, if you're not starting a conversation with someone. Mm-hmm. Um, too many retweets, 17% of people unfollow for that. Hmm. So if you're just retweeting and retweeting and retweeting, you know, that's that that gets ridiculous. Because yeah, you, you don't look authentic at all. Yeah. Just, yeah. I mean, you're just I, piggybacking on somebody else's I'm stuff. surprised this is down the list, but auto-direct messages. Oh, I can't stand that. Um, yeah, so as soon as I'll you follow unfollow, someone. Yeah. If, mm-hmm. I'll unfollow if I get an automatic <laughs> response back. I absolutely will. Yeah. And then you talked about it, hashtag abusers. Yeah. Using too many hashtags all the time is ridiculous too. So check that out. Twitter, unfollow, infographic on the Marketing Tech blog. Another one to, to check out is we just updated um, our list of hashtag research tools. Um, cool. So there's 14 tools. A new one hit the market, hashaddit.com. Mm-hmm. But uh, these are really cool tools to, to look at you know, your products and mm-hmm. services and brand and everything else and see what's being My said. My personal out there. favorite is Cy branding hashtag uh, tool. It's, it's fantastic and you can really get some good demographics out of that as well. I don't know if that's on the list. Oh. 